I carved out an emblem with my CNC router. I'm going to turn this into solid aluminum using a lost foam casting method. I coated the foam with drywall mud and let it dry. Once completely dry, I then put it into a small container and filled that container with sand. And the sand has to be dry with all the moisture removed from the sand. This is called the lost foam casting process. I'll fill the container all the way to the top and then put a pouring cup right on the top of it. And this is where the molten metal will flow into. I then added more sand to lock the pouring cup in place. I'll then melt down aluminum in my propane melting furnace. Once the aluminum is molten, I'll then pour it into the mold that I previously made. This is where the molten metal will vaporize the foam and take its shape. During the pouring of this process, do not hesitate on the pour. Make sure you continually pour until the molten metal stops flowing down. About 30 minutes later, it is now time to remove the metal from the sand because that foam is now turned into solid aluminum. I like to clean it up with a wire brush so I get a good look at it and see how well the casting came out. Then I bring it to a vise and cut off the top, which is referred to as a sprue, off of the emblem. Then I like to clean it up even further with a wire wheel using a Dremel tool. It definitely looks much better using the wire wheel. I'll then sand away any remnants of the aluminum from the outer edge, and then sand it up on my lathe with a fine grit sandpaper. If you like this video, click the related link below. I'm sure you'll like that one just as much.